Hi everyone and welcome to our newest program here at the Kamloops Museum and Archives. This one is called Cabin Fever and it goes out to all the kids who would be here doing classes and taking programs with us. We hope we'll be able to see your smiling faces again soon. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Megan. I'm the museum educator here at the Kamloops Museum and Archives. And just before we begin today, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge that we are on the traditional and unceded territories of the Tecumseh Tejish Aquemic First Nations people. Now, today we're going to be singing some songs, we're going to be doing some crafts, we're going to be telling some stories. Um, the craft that we're going to do today is pretty easy, pretty simple. Uh, we're going to be making paper inchworms. So all you'll need for this craft is a piece of paper, some coloring utensils if you'd like them, and a pair of scissors. We'll also be working with a straw to get our caterpillars to inch, um, but it's up to you whether or not you have those at home. And if not, you can always just roll up a little piece of paper. So we're going to start with a song today. It's one of my favorites. It's called There Was a Moose. So you can follow along with the hand actions, and some of you who've been in my programs before might know this song already. It goes like this. There was a moose. He liked to drink a lot of juice. There was a moose. He liked to drink a lot of juice. The moose's name was Fred. He liked to drink his juice in bed. The moose's name was Fred. He liked to drink his juice in bed. He drank his juice in bed, but he spilt it on his head. He drank his juice in bed, but he spilt it on his head. Now he's a sticky moose, but he's a moose full of juice. Now he's a sticky moose, but he's a moose full of juice. It's one of my favorite songs. I learned that song at Camp Artaban. Um, now the story that we're gonna tell today, probably some of you guys are already familiar with it. It is Eric Carl's Brown Bear, Brown Bear. So as you can see up here, we've got Brown Bear up here. He's out for a walk in the forest in the wide, wide world. So let's ask him, Brown Bear, Brown Bear, what do you see? I see a red bird looking at me. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see a white dog looking at me. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see a yellow duck looking at me. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see a green frog looking at me. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see a goldfish looking at me. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see a pink elephant looking at me. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see a blue horse looking at me. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see children looking at me. Great job, everybody. All right, and now we're gonna move on and do another song. And this song is called Little Bunny Foo Foo. Now, I have my little bunny foo foo here on my finger. If you don't have a bunny puppet though, you can feel free to make a little bunny foo foo just with your fingers. And this song goes like this. Little bunny foo-foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. When down came the good fairy and she said, Little bunny foo-foo, I don't want to see you scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. I'm going to give you three chances. And if you don't stop, I'm going to turn you into a goon. Well, do you know what happened? Little bunny foo-foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. When down came the good fairy and she said, Little bunny foo-foo, I don't want to see you scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. I'm going to give you two more chances. And if you don't stop, I'm going to turn you into a goon. Well, do you know what happened? Little bunny foo-foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. When down came the good fairy and she said, 
Little bunny foo foo, I don't want to see you scooping up the field mice and popping them on the head. I'm going to give you one more chance. And if you don't stop, I'm going to turn you into a broom. Well, do you know what happened? Little bunny foo foo, hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and popping them on the head. When down came the good fairy and she said, Little bunny foo foo, I just saw you scooping up the field mice and popping them on the head. I gave you three chances and you didn't stop. So now I'm going to turn you into a goon. And she did. And the moral of this story is hair today, goon tomorrow. All right, and now it is time for us to join in on a craft. Now the craft that we're gonna be doing today is making little paper caterpillars. So you can see mine here. Um, I took my crayons and I decorated my paper before I made it. You can choose to decorate your caterpillar or not. It's totally up to you. And as you can see, for all the moms and dads out there, um, I put a star on the third piece in on my caterpillar. And that's to help the kiddos out with where they're supposed to be directing their air as they're blowing on their caterpillars to make them inch along. So to do this craft, you're going to take a piece of paper and you're going to want to cut a strip off of it. The strip needs to be about this big, so about five centimeters wide. So we'll go ahead and we'll cut that together. So about five centimeters wide. You can make these as wide or as uh, narrow as you like. It's totally up to you. All right. And it doesn't matter if it's quite straight or not. Um, they're going to be cut anyways. So now that we've got our five centimeter strip, we're going to fold it in half, just like this. Fold your strip in half. So now you've got your strip and it's been folded in half, just like this, just once, end to end. Now you're going to take one side and you're going to fold it into the middle. And then you're going to fold it into the center again, just like this. So fold it in one more time. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. So you're going to take that long piece you're going to fold it into the center and then you're going to fold it in one more time. And then you're going to fold it all together in the center just like this. One last big fold. Now for those of you who are a little bit younger, you might need some grown-up help with this step, so don't be afraid to ask. For those of you who are a little bit older, you can grab your scissors. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to cut the corners off each side of our square. And that's what's going to make our caterpillar nice and round. So we'll go ahead and cut those corners off. Again, it doesn't really matter how even or uneven this process is. All right, there we go. And once you have your caterpillar all cut out, you can go ahead and unfold it. And you should have a strip of paper that looks like this. So your caterpillar should be all done. Now, when you put it down on the table, we are gonna be able to actually make these inch. So if you grabbed a straw, you can get it out now. If you need to roll up a piece of paper, um, just grab a piece, roll it up really nice and tight. Um, and that can serve as a straw as well. All we're really using this for is to direct air. just like that will work as well. Totally up to you. Now, you're gonna take your straw and you're gonna blow it right at the third piece on your caterpillar's bum. And as you can see, my caterpillar is inching along across the top of the desk. Now, if you have brothers or sisters or even a grown-up who might like to join you, you might want to take your inchworms and you might want to have an inchworm race. And that would be a fun way to spend some time today. All right, we're going to do another little story song here. And this one is called Two Little Dicky Birds. So you can either get your bird puppets out or get your fingers ready. So we have 
two little dicky birds sitting on a wall. One named Peter, one named Paul. Fly away, Peter, fly away, Paul. Come back, Peter, come back, Paul. Two little dicky birds sitting on a wall. One named Quiet, one named Loud. Fly away, Quiet, fly away, Loud. Come back, Quiet, come back, Loud. Two little dicky birds sitting on a wall. One named Fast, one named Slow. Fly away, Fast, fly away, Slow. Come back, Fast. Come back slow. Great job, you guys. All right, and we have one more song today. I'm going to get my puppy to join me because this song is called How Much Is That Doggy in the Window? And this is my doggy puppet. Perf, perf, say hello. All right, so this song goes like this How much is that doggy in the window? Arf, arf. The one with the waggly tail. Arf, arf. How much is that doggy in the window? Arf, arf. Oh, tell me, is he for sale? I must take a trip to California and leave my poor sweetheart alone. My love needs somebody to protect him and keep him safe while I'm not home. How much is that doggy in the window? Arf, arf! The one with the waggly tail. Arf, arf! How much is that doggy in the window? Arf, arf! Oh, tell me, is he for sale? I read in the paper there are robbers with flashlights that glow in the dark. My love needs somebody to protect him and scare them away with one bark. Arf, arf, arf. How much is that doggy in the window? Arf, arf. The one with the waggly tail. Arf, arf. How much is that doggy in the window? Arf, arf. Oh, tell me, is he for sale? Thank you so much for joining us for the first edition of Cabin Fever. Um, do stay posted because there will be more episodes coming. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to see you back at the museum sometime soon. Bye for now.